they're going to get caught up. Whatever games that they try to play, they're going to get caught up. Someone's going to get caught, okay? I'm looking at this as urine. Urine going in. Okay, that's what it was, okay? So either they're going to go try to pee in the cup and then, like, say if it's a female and she has something inside of her, it's going to fall out into the cup and there's going to be the sheriff there watching her. She's going to get caught. That's gonna, that's a whole other. Also, faking a drug test, that's a charge in itself, Okay, that's a charge in itself. And then let alone, you know, if, and so I feel like somebody's going to have drugs on them in the courtroom too. Um, that's the, that's two to four years minimum mandatory for having drugs on you in a government facility. If you're at the post office and you have, because the post office is a government um, facility and you get caught with drugs on you, that's two to four years minimum mandatory in Pennsylvania. I don't know about other states. Or other countries, but I know in the United States and Pennsylvania, it's two to four years to get caught, if not more. Okay, they might even it might even be up more now. I know Florida has a zero tolerance um, for drugs. They have the zero tolerance law um, for drugs. So I don't know something could be happening in Florida. They don't play. They, if you get caught with a seed or a stem of marijuana, they do not play. They will rail you. I don't know why I felt called to say that. Maybe this is happening in Florida. But either way, confirmation. Okay. Florida could be very much so significant. So somebody could is either going to be de um, doing a urine and like they're going to get caught with a fake bird on because they do have these these that, right they they have fake penises that look like they they look real but you can pump stuff out. It's like to pass to, you know your drug test. Somebody's getting caught up with that. And that's a charge all in itself. Um, and that's that's a whole charge all in itself. So either the the penis is the, 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 the it's gonna fall off, or like the 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 sheriff's gonna see that it's fake. Okay, um, either that, or like if they're trying to stick it inside of them, it's gonna fall out, or someone's just gonna be watching them. All right, but it's gonna be the worst possible case. It's like so, they're gonna literally get caught doing this. All right. Um, now also somebody's going to jail, and they're gonna get caught bringing drugs into the jail as well. Two to four years minimum mandatory just for the for that charge in itself, let alone how much drugs they have on them and what drugs they have on them. Okay. Now, um, on the other side that I was I couldn't remember what I was saying, what it was at first was they're gonna expect a urine test and they're gonna get a mouth swab or something like that, so they can't fake it. God's making sure that like there is or they're gonna get blood work. Blood work is what I just heard. They're going to expect a urine test, and then they're going to draw blood on them. So whatever games that they think they're going to play, the judge is not having it. God's not having it. But I'm sure only getting somebody's delaying because they're going to try to go to rehab or they're going to ask the judge, well, can I just do it? The judge is not having it because they delayed it too many times. But somebody's trying to delay. They're trying to release a devil. Like they're either trying to, you know, they're trying to um, either just stop the addiction themselves so that they go to court because they're afraid of you bringing up that they're a drug addict and you're not. Also, um... Somebody in the collective, you do, okay, no shade, okay, I used to do drugs myself, okay, no shade, it is a hard process, we make it look easy, but it's not, it really is not, it, you know, it's a challenge every day, okay, it, it really is, no shade to anybody that do, that does drugs, okay, no, or alcohol, you know, because people got to understand, especially those who don't, who's never done any drugs or alcohol or never had any addictions, well, everybody has an addiction, let's make that abundantly clear, tarot can be addiction, Eating can be addiction. Everybody has an addiction of some sort. Now, um, there's somebody in the collective that is still actively drinking or 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 doing some sort of drug. Okay, you're delaying your progress by this. You need to get sober. Okay, no shade, no shade. Okay, and then I just want to I I pray, um, you know, and I ask for the collective and everybody. To please pray for those who are suffering um, with this disease, because it is a disease. Um, it really, truly is. Um, and to pray for those who are in active addiction, that they, they, you know, for their safety and for their recovery. And those who are in recovery, um, because we have people, the enemy, constantly trying to send attacks to get us to go back.
Somebody could be an alcoholic. Somebody could drink, okay? Somebody's going to show up to court drunk as well or intoxicated. Somebody could have showed up to court and it could have delayed the process. They could, they could have been like they weren't in the right state of mind. And they could be sent to rehab. They could have smelt the alcohol in them and they're like completely intoxicated. Now that I'm looking at this. Something I'm looking at this as like a cup, you know, like a beer mug or something. And it got delayed because they have to release the devil. Somebody could, okay, they could have went to court and they they figured, all right, well, if I just show up intoxicated, they, 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 they you know, they can't take my whatever. And they're going to send them to rehab. They're doing every childish antic that they possibly can to delay this. But I'm strongly getting for somebody out there, somebody showed up to court, they were wasted. So they had to postpone this hearing, send this person to rehab until they, you know, to go to get off, to get off of this addictions. That's really ticked the judge off a lot. And this is going to, this is going to end up blowing up in there. This is a major backfire for that person. Okay, somebody else, they're trying to go to rehab, they're trying to get clean before they come, or they're going to go in there trying to say, oh, well, it's kind of addictions, can you send me to rehab, da -da -da -da. the judge ain't having that, they're going to be like, you can go into prison, oh, I didn't even look at this, I didn't even, we'll come through, spirit, I didn't even notice this card was here, I was going to say, they're going to be like, no, you can get rehab in jail, it's going to be a backfire, and look, the eight of swords is right here, imprisonment. Somebody is bound to some sort of addictions, um, and they're going to try and pull the, the, the addiction card. It's not going to work because they were given so many chances to make this right. They casted too many illusions. They did this too many times. All right, they were doing the whole, oh, going in and then on the court date, firing their lawyer. Or, or first going up, oh, I don't have a lawyer. I don't have one present. They got a public defender. And then they needed time to go over. So they had to postpone it because of that. And they kept pulling that stupid card. Then it was something, you know, an addiction thing. They had to go to rehab. Um, and all this did was delay the progress, the, the court hearing. But what it did was make it better for you. Because now it really got the judge mad. Now the judge is really, the judge is not stupid. The judge knows what's going on here. The judge is throwing his hands up. I'm looking at this, like this referee right here as a judge. Like, are you effing kidding me again? Are you kidding me? And they're not going to have no mercy. They're going to be like, you know, what? you can go to jail. You can sober up in jail. That's going to be your rehab. You go to jail. You want to play games? You think that you're going to get over something on me? Like, you know, you're going to insult my intelligence? I don't think so. How about you have your recovery? Why would you go to jail? Look, come through, spirit. How would you go to, to jail and recover? The four of freaking swords. You can go heal in jail. what I just say, Collective? Somebody was also praying that they can get you locked up. They were praying that you could fumble. They were praying that you would go back to addictions, drinking, smoking, doing, taking Percocets, whatever it is. They didn't realize we don't do that shit no more. Sorry. We don't do that no more. We healed from our addiction. It could be a father figure or an uncle figure. But things are being balanced out for you because you released your devils. You got over your addictions. You've been over your addictions. Okay? This is very significant with the eight of wands. And I'm, uh, for me, it's been eight, almost nine years. And it's just eight of wands the, and the devil in the reverse. I haven't done, I haven't touched, you know, um, not even a Tylenol PM or like Tylenol 3. Okay? Um, you know, in eight, almost nine years. But you see what I'm saying? And all they're doing is going to make out better because the judge is going to be very insulted. One, the judge is very insulted just by what they did to you. Even if you were, let's just say, I don't like the word junkie, but let's just say you were a full-blown junkie. Like, you didn't care who you stepped on, what you did. You were like, you know, the worst of the worst. You would have like, you know, robbed, killed, and destroyed your, your own parents or something like that. Something crazy like that. Like, as long as you got your high, if you're that type of person... Now, it like it still wasn't just what they did to you, okay? The, the, it already had that judge that mad, um, even if you were that type of person, but you were never that person. You were always a divine being. 
you were always an earth angel even when you had your addictions you never you weren't doing people no dirty you weren't doing nothing like that you still went without to make sure other people didn't you know what i mean you didn't resort to them you were never a junkie you were an addict okay or you were never like a, a alcoholic you just drank once in a while or you were a you know you were always a functional addict or alcoholic or whatever the situation is, you know what I mean, you, you know, you, you weren't a, you weren't like that, okay, but, like, let alone somebody that had these addictions, were able to overcome them at the worst times, in the darkness, that speaks volumes about you, that speaks volumes about you, and for somebody who has these addictions that are literally in that are junkies, that are ones I don't like that word, but like literally they they were sitting there doing this to an innocent divine being. This is a junkie. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, this judge is not having it at all. And then when the judge found out everything that was done to you and everything else, and they see the child's antics, what they're doing, this judge is going to it's going to be completely over for them. And the judge is going to like even triple or, or quadruple or, you know, give you 10 times more than what he was planning on giving you before they started all this, you know, childish stuff. So every time they do in a delay, it's going to do like you're going to get 10 times even more like, you know, or, or whatever it is. You're going to get double for each time they delay. It. They could have tried to delay it. Let me see. One. Or one, two, three, four times they could have delayed this court hearing. So I'm looking at the ones with the rays coming, the lights with their, someone's name could be Ray. All right. I don't know. My bad about this blue spoon, guys. When I have the, when I can get a new one, I will. But, um, see how these ones, they look real bright and shiny. I'm counting them. One, two, three, four. They could have delayed this court hearing four times by childish things, firing lawyers and stuff like that. And then come, then they want to show up, um, waste it on alcohol or drugs. So, yeah, the, the judge is like, absolutely not. How about you don't go to rehab? How about they could have even pulled the rehab car before? How about you go to jail? You heal in jail. And, you know, let's just balance this out right here, right now. And it could be a father figure or an uncle figure or a masculine energy or it could be a workplace as well. And I just want to give you like a major shout out to anybody that did that is in recovery that was able to, um, you know, get over any addictions, dude, I am, congratulations, I am so proud of you, God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away are so proud of you, and you should seriously be proud of yourself, because we make it look easy, but it's truly not, it's really not, it's a struggle every single day, all right, um, and I'm just so proud of you, and you should really be proud of yourself, and guys, please, everybody, just, whether you ever did drugs or alcohol, um, you have some sort of addiction in one way or another. It could be overworking. Working is addiction, you know, for some people. Um, you know, everybody has an addiction. Now, just think whatever you do the most, what, like, you try going without it, let alone something that makes you physically sick, physically ill. Like for alcohol or Xanax, you can actually die from those two drugs, from the withdrawal. You can literally die from it. So, you know what I mean? Um try to go through like just stop smoking cigarettes try to go without internet okay try to go a week without internet or your phone or any electronics tell me if you can do that and then let alone if something like because internet is or your phone is an addiction to almost everybody try to go a week without your phone okay and if you can't do that you can't say nothing about anybody that got over and that was an addict you can't or whatever it is that you that you love the most, whatever you do the most, whatever whatever you're addicted to. And, and you can't say you don't have an addiction because everybody does. Before you go judging somebody. Okay? And then let alone a, something that you actually physically get ill and sick from if you don't have it. And even when you do recover, you still have those urges. And you have to be around people that are that do it. And you still fight that battle. And, you know, alcohol and Xanax, you can actually die from the withdrawal. So before anybody goes to judging somebody, um, just really think about that one. Let it sink in. Or especially people that drink, but then they look down on, ad on, on drug addicts. Alcohol is a drug. 
alcohol is very much so a drug and you can actually it's a worse to get off of alcohol and it's more dangerous to get off of alcohol and alcohol does more damage to you to your body so I never understood that an alcohol like that used that would that would that look down on addicts you are a addict ma'am sir and I don't understand how alcohol is legal like I really don't like bars you know what I mean like how bars are legal I really don't how you can go and it's a setup if you ask me you can go to a bar you're giving it legal but you don't hear about somebody smoking weed and then going beating their wife up or you know doing stupid and like getting in their car crashing it and doing stupid stuff or robbing stuff because they're drunk I mean because they're, they're high on weed no but yet weed's not illegal I'm not saying anything you know what I mean but you see what I'm saying here but let alone but then you go have bars and then it's okay for them to go drink but then you pull them over uh, you know what i mean um because they have how are they supposed to get home like this it's just one big setup like i mean i wish that drugs and alcohol were just never a thing really honestly and then addicts and criminals they say are the or it's proven it's a proven fact they're the most smartest and the, um, the most intelligent and um creative people in the world now, the only thing that gets in our way is that addiction. Now, if you could take away that addiction, these people should be running the fucking country. Because they're so smart, they're, 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 you know, a lot of them are extremely smart and extreme, like, so creative, it's insane. And it's a proven fact. But it's just the addiction that gets in the way. But once you lose that addiction, you're still left with all that, you know what I mean? Another thing that drives me crazy is somebody that that is an addict and then they get mad because you recovered from it and then this is what really makes me mad when they you recover from it and they get jealous and envious of it or they need you they want you to support their habits so they go to doing you know underhanded stuff whether it be coming over trying to get you to relapse anybody that has something to do with somebody's relapse you're just disgusting you're a horrible person for that you know, you're supposed to be supporting somebody and be looking at them as inspiration instead of trying everything you can to get them because you're jealous because you couldn't do it. When you can, you just need to work and do it. You just think you're not strong enough, but you are. Anybody can get over it. It's just a matter of will and want. But that, I just don't, that really, like, grinds my, <laughs> that grinds my gears. <laughs> but it does, for real, on some real stuff. You should be, like, you know, instead of attacking them, how about you start sending some sort of, um, you know, magic your way to get you to quit doing it instead of being a hater. Or, like, coming over and purposely, you know, bringing, oh, you want to come have a drink? You know I don't drink no more. Why are you asking me to drink? Coming over, smoking, like, it don't make sense to me, man. And you know what that karma is for that, dude? People that do stuff like that, they're the ones that are going to end up overdosing. They're the ones that, like, you know what I mean? If their struggle when they decide to get clean, it's going to be hell for them. It's going to be hell for them. So think about that. Or they're the ones that are going to, like, when they go to try to go get their drugs or their alcohol, whatever situations, they're going to run into so many problems. It's because you're trying to cause so many problems for somebody who actually was strong enough to get over that. Who was once where you were, okay? Once was where you were, but was able to have the strength and courage to get out of there and not be in that situation anymore and to better themselves. You should be looking at that person as inspiration because they are. So then when you go to try to get your, 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 you go cop your drugs or your alcohol and you buy your, and you're shaking, you have the DTs and your bottle falls on the ground and it's your last bit of money and it breaks and you're licking the concrete floor. I don't, did somebody do that? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> sorry guys. But you know what I mean? That's your karma because you're trying to attack somebody who got over that. That was once in a situation that you're in and you don't like it when you're you're not when you you don't like you have to have that addiction like what like what we have the page of wands on the fence 
there's a message that was you're about to get a message that was blocked from you that was supposed to be sent that somebody either stole your mail or they didn't send it they didn't tell you about what was hold, they were holding on to and how hard you know you're a hard worker at eight of wands i mean eight of pentacles on the fence this tells me um you're a hard worker whatever this is generous blessing and it's going to be able to lighten the load for you to the point where you don't have to work um so hard anymore also they were very sloppy okay with the eight of wands uh, the eight of pentacles sorry on the fence they were sloppy they left some sort of paper trail also the person okay now for those of you with the mailman you know where they're stealing your mail the mailman's telling on them the mailman's working with the feds the mailman could you know anything with the mail if you steal someone's pack that's that's fed or their mail that's federal time you're messing with the mail anything with the mail is federal you don't play when it comes to the feds uh, when, when it comes to the mail anybody's mail and now the mailman's losing their job they're also working with the feds to to lock these people up They might not even know this because they still have the mailman out there because the mailman's setting them up. To lighten his 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 or her um sentence. And they'll never be able to have another government job ever again. Except for when they're in the federal penitentiary. You know, and when they have to work, you know, because in a, in a state or the feds, you have to work, you know. It's not like the county where you can choose to have a job or not. No, you have to work when you're off state or in the feds. You're getting a solid love offer coming in. Queen of Cups in the reverse. There's a Queen of Cups. Maybe this is like your ex or just a cold-hearted, detached woman. Um, you know, she's a very, she, she's just a horrible person, okay. And the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You're, she's trying to release some sort of devil or you release this devil this could be your ex okay or this could be your divine counterpart releasing their devil maybe they're coming over some sort of addictions as well or whatever the situation is y'all know your roles okay um there's a queen of pentacles in reverse somebody that like you know they'll do anything for money it could be the same person it could be another person okay this could be your your ex or that you know do you release or this could be your divine counterparts looks like possibly you know it could be either or put the roles where they fit it could be your divine counterpart is coming in they're choosing to release their devil and some sort of addictions which is their ex or maybe they're married this could be because she's in a wedding dress it could be maybe your divine counterpart could possibly ride motorcycles okay because he's on a dirt bike here all right or you can okay or bicycles or my or motorcycles something like that okay or dirt bikes whatever um yeah there could be some sort of delays because somebody has an addiction or there there's like this female that is getting in the way trying to delay everything there's also okay now this is either the same person for some of you this is the same person for others of you this there are two different people this is your divine counterparts latest past uh, person or your past person and you know put the rules where they fit well she sent this person into your divine counterpart or you to 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 do this okay and this is going i feel like this could be a twin frame doesn't have to be um but i'm um, strongly i don't know why i'm getting it like it could be for some use it is so like if this is a twin flame for those of you in a twin flame situation yeah she sent this one in you know your ex in to stop you block you so they could steal whatever this is and the same thing happened to your twin flame mirroring souls so what's happening to you is happening to them similar situations now you're getting um your divine counterpart wants to come take a leap take a leap of faith with you they're just there's a little bit of a setback or a delay because of her or because or maybe you're still with your false person whatever the situation is all right and i feel like maybe there could be a drinking problem here that they're releasing they're they're recovering from some sort of drinking problem or addictions of some sort it could be sex addiction it could be anything i don't know it could be gambling i don't know but they're just releasing some sort of devils in their lives now this queen of pentacles sent these people in your ex and their their ex to do whatever okay they have no forward movement they're not moving forward you're getting victory success public recognition possibly even fame also i'm feeling like also whatever you're doing in your purpose um say if you have a platform you do not have to 
or it could be just social media. I feel like your divine counterpart is watching you in your purpose, okay? Um, not in a creepy way, not in a weird way. They whatever, whatever you're doing in your purpose, okay? Whether it could just be leaving inspirational quotes um, or messages on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is. They're watching you. They like what they say. They're just releasing. There's some sort of delay here because I feel like it's like an addiction of some sort, possibly alcohol. And, and this person, their ex or your ex, whatever, but the world they fit, all right? They're going to come take the leap of faith with you. They just needed to take care of this. But she's under heavy judgment because of what she's holding on to, um, this generous blessing that she stole from you, this is giving me like that wicked stepmother, evil, you know, or like it could be the ex-wife. I don't know. Your ships are coming in. So don't worry. And this is also like the authorities coming in to arrest these idiots. Okay, yeah, somebody got kicked out, possibly of a house. She could have got kicked out of a house, or he could be kicking her out, or you could be kicking or something like that. Somebody got kicked out, and they, oh, they are, they are butt hurt because they were trying to kick you out of your own blessing that was that was destined for you. Okay, for some of you, your divine counterpart, it's a little bit of delays because they were married. They might possibly have kids with this person. So they had to do whole divorce and all that, whatever, you know what I mean? That whole thing, okay? Um, but they're they're doing this. It's it, They found out what's going on, all right? Now, you both have multiple opportunities, like many opportunities, because you're both very good looking inside and out. You have a lot of eyes on you. They have a lot of eyes on them. But they only want you, okay? They don't want anybody else. Um, they're just healing. It's not, they're not, they're not with, they're not not with you because they they want other other people no it's they're healing some they're doing something there's other things that need to be done like it's not because of that they do have many options but it's not that it's you know it's not another person it's you know it's not that they want somebody else they want you they're just some sort of delays because i feel like alcohol possibly or some sort of drug addiction that they're recovering from or you know that they're going to be recovering from and their past person and possibly they might have kids with them or they might have thought they had kids somebody could be pretending to be pregnant because she does kind of look like she has a belly here but it doesn't look really look real and it's the first time i saw this i never noticed that so she could be pretending to be pregnant or maybe she is pregnant maybe he was waiting for her to have the baby and see if it's his okay or maybe he already has kids or maybe she has kids and he was just grown to be in their stepdad and he felt weird you know whatever the situation is um there's also a court battle happening here it's something with, with a child custody battle or something or a dna test happening here something like that she could be trying to just be a complete jerk to him and trying to to take the doing everything to delay everything you know because she doesn't want she doesn't want him but she doesn't want you to have him which is crazy and i feel like there's something to do with children that's involved for some of you not everybody but for some of you i'm also getting this person really loves you okay this isn't for everybody but I'm looking at this, like, look, see how he has, like, you know, like, goal. I feel like for some of you, their goal is to have a child with you. They, like, see you as marriage material. That's not for everybody. Or he found out that her goal, her goal was to have a child. And to try to baby trap him. Something like that. But it's coming out that it's not even, she's not pregnant or it's not even his kid. Something like that. See how the, the the referee has his hands up and, and there's a child in the goal. So either he's he like he sees you as like you know marriage material and he's planning like his future with you and future children possibly. He might be you know what I mean or he's finding out that her goal was to baby trap him or something that wasn't even his kid or something like that. You know put the rules where they fit. So don't be worried. Don't think that like he doesn't want it. Like you ain't together because he or she doesn't want to be with you. They do have many opportunities, many options, but they don't want them. It's just other things. It's not you, okay? It's not you. 
so don't feel like that's the case okay they're gonna come tell you about this they're gonna you know somebody was all i feel like your ex was trying to baby trap you as well that's what their goal was was to have a kid with you or something to try to baby trap you they worked hard to do this and they feel like they missed out on an opportunity they should have had or they, they should have had a child with you so that you would have to be in their energy for 18 years. Let's just give God, okay? Let's just thank God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away um, for all they do. Oh, shoot. That's right, okay? So the other day, I almost forgot, guys. This just reminded me. Somebody has mold or something in their house. You need to get checked out. Possibly black mold. It could be in your basement or asbestos. Asbestos is very cancerous once it's broken open. Okay, if it's not touched or whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's when it you you um you you tamper with the, the, the asbestos and the particles, um, you know, like the little particles that come from it that you breathe in, it's very cancerous, okay? Somebody could have cancer. This is the, the download I got the other day. It was a dream download, and it was in the basement. There was like either black mold or asbestos, or somebody was doing something pumping up through your floors from the basement, like gases or something. Okay, if you have a basement or, or in your house anywhere, okay? It's like mold or mildew or something like that. I totally forgot until I just seen this card. And I seen like that, um, what do you call it, the mildew on there. And it was in the in my dream. It was in the mill. It was in the basement. It was like a bunch of like mildew, um, or like mold or something. So you might want to check for mold or mild like mildew, something like that. Or somebody was in the basement trying to pump up um, gases into your house, or they were they put something they could have buried something in your basement. Like, if you have, like, the dirt floors, you know what I mean? The old school, back-in-the-day basement. But it could be anywhere. It's in your house. But in my dream, it was the basement. That was the other day. I forgot about that. Yeah, whatever they worked super hard to steal from you. They were trying to get you kicked out so they could steal from you. Also, the, okay, with the Emperor card, that was the last one that was at the bottom of the deck right before I started to shuffle. There's a, um... A uh, boss or a landlord. I feel like it's a person that you used that for those of you that worked with the person. You know that whole situation where you either lived with the person, you rented a a house or an apartment or a room from your old boss or whatever. They kicked you out so they could steal from you, and they stole your your property. Whether this is either a boss or it was your landlord or both. Okay, they stole from you. You're getting justice for that as well, and they're going to have to pay out tremendously for that. And whatever these other idiots stole from you, you're getting it back, okay? You're getting you're getting your justice. Guys, can we get those likes up, please, and thank you? You are a star, my darling. They're trying to like somehow stop your like your healer as well. They're trying to stop your healing and stop your stardom. That's not happening. Your divine counterpart could be a star. Could be literally famous. They've been ex a, a famous person is exposed for what they are investing in. There's a famous.